What I'm most thankful for from Greenville College would have to be the professors. They'll go above and beyond for you. The small class sizes help you out with that. They post their office hours. They want you to go in there. They want you to get help so you can understand the content as much as possible. And past that, um, in the summer times, they're, they're, they've been to a lot of places. They've done a lot of things. They can help you out with internships. And even more so, like past life, they have connections. They've done things. They, they know people. They can really help you out with that. I've heard a lot of stories about graduates getting a lot of help from professors even when they're gone. So they care about you in the classroom, out of the classroom, on the sports field, they're really flexible with you. Uh, I'm just really thankful for the people of Greenville College and the classes that I'm in. Everybody here is really kind-hearted and will help you out and, and they know if you're struggling, they're willing to, to go the extra step to, to make sure that you succeed. Uh, the thing I'm most thankful for about EMAP football, Greenville College football, are the relationships I've made. Um, and through that, it's really helped me grow as a young man and as a young Christian. Uh, people like Nicholas Morrow and Connor Earlywine and Roman Butler and Corbin Quinones and, and all a bunch of different guys that I've lived with and that I'm living with now have really kept me accountable. Uh, they've helped me learn a lot about myself. They've uh, asked me to be vulnerable with them and they want me, they return that favor and they're vulnerable with me. Uh, and so that's just been great. So the relationship I've built, and I've been to Philadelphia once and I've been to Georgia, and it's taken me a lot of places. So that's something I've seen a whole different part of the country that I might not have never seen, ever seen, uh, because of the football program and, and just all these different people, all the stories I've heard from where they've grown up. And I just feel like, even though I haven't been some places where these guys have grown up, just all the late night talks we've had, the stories I've heard about their families and, and their friends growing up, and I feel like I could go there and I could have a place to lay my head at night if I was ever traveling, and that you know I, I could be part of their family if they welcome me into it. And, to travel around and be great. Uh, coach I'm most thankful for would be Coach Lonnie. Uh, he's changed my life. Uh, I realize it more and more now that I uh, am out of football and just he's always uh, preaching about how you to live to a high standard and be passionate about what you do and you know nobody can give you that passion it has to come from within you and he lives that out on the football field every single day during practice but also his personal life and his his personal um, relationship with the Lord. And that's something I've tried to just implement in my life, just see what Coach Lyon does. I'm trying it because you know, I really admire him for, for many different things, and, and he's really helped me get through some hard things in college. And, and without him, I don't know where I'd be. And so I'm really thankful for Coach Lyon. Uh, teammates I'm most thankful for, I mentioned them in my senior video a couple weeks ago. And it's weird just to think that I don't know how much I'm going to see him anymore, but. Guys like uh, Nicholas Morrow, Connor Earlywine, Roman Butler, Corbin Quinones, oh man, Andres Flores, David, Dalton, Will, man, you guys are great. Johnny Pruitt, uh, you've changed my life more than you know. Um, and so many guys that I've even have left now, Mikey Ward, holy cow, you've changed my life. So just guys like that, I have each individual memories with all of you. And uh, something about uh, EMAP football just brings you closer together. I don't know if it's the 16-hour bus rides or sharing a bed in the hotel room. It's been, it's been a ride, and I'm looking forward to, to growing with these guys and keeping, you know, keeping in touch with these guys as the years go on.